Guys, I got a fresh, fresh news story here. It's called, How Teens Go From Texting to Sexting. And it's really important for parents to know, for educators, anyone working with children to watch this piece. This is probably the most important news piece, you know, in the last century easily. Okay? So all you parents, all everyone with a little, you know, brother, sister, everyone who's expecting, and even you kids, that, even you kids who say no-no to naughty stuff, even you kids who say, uh-uh, I don't think so to naughty stuff. Good for you, by the way. You're the children of America. Hey, Santa. No, what? Are you texting again? No, I'm not texting. I'm just sending something to Sean. It's not, it's not pornographic. All those messages may hey, not Eli, be as walk. innocent don't as you walk. might think. This isn't for you. Stop being a sleuth, Eli. I just said, hey. I kind of just put LOL and ha ha on about every text message. Uh, I, it's not your business. Why don't you just leave me alone and give me some time? For the story about Eli. sexting, you have to hear to believe. Oh my. Stop following me. Turn it off. How teens go from texting to sexting. How does that happen? How do you make that switch? It's easier than you think, guys. We're gonna find out now. A call for parents. Do you know what your children are texting these days? All those messages may not be as innocent as you might think. In fact, we want to warn you, the language is explicit. News Channel 36 anchor Bobby Sis with a story about sexting you have to hear to believe. Hey, parents. Are you, do you not mistrust your kids enough? Well, let me tell you, Bobby Six, why you need to trust them even less. Do you invade your per kids' personal space? Well, let me tell you why you need to invade it even more. Okay, your kids are in danger right now. Are you afraid of a? Are you afraid of enough stuff in your life? Well, not nearly enough. Let me tell you why you're not afraid of enough stuff in your life. This is Bobby from News Six. Do you mistrust your kids? Do you want to plant deep-seated mistrust and disrespect for authority? Well, this is Bobby Six, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. You got to unholster your guns and shoot them in the gut where it hurts. They trust you too much. Hey, I'm Bobby Six, and I'm here to tell you, your kids trust you too much. They care about you. They're in these uh, really, you know, fragile teenage years. Well, let's pop them up and fuck it up for them. Ah! Ah! 36 anchor Bobby Sisk with a story about sexting you have to hear to believe. All do it, six. Gotta get that if you've text messages or have a teenager, you probably know that LOL means laugh out loud. I know that. You know that, right? LOL. Or that OMG means oh my god. That's pretty common. That's pretty common. I, I recognize that acronym. I kind of just put LOL in ha ha and about every, ha -ha. every text message. But what about R-U-H? Uh, I got nothing. What's R-U-H? I never heard of that. I'm pretty hip. Pretty hip young dude, you know what I mean? I don't know about acronyms and shit. I've done my share of texting. P-I-R or G-N-O-C. I've literally never heard of any of those. The translations of these text messages may surprise you. Are you horny? Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Damn! This is a dangerous place to be a young kid, man, with acronyms like that. That's, this is a dangerous time to be young with acronyms like that. Are you horny? Whoa! That's one, that's one step away from rape. Parent in room. Get naked on camera. This is the secret language of sexting. <laughs> acronyms teenagers use to send sexually explicit messages that teachers so and mom and dad can't understand. You know, I didn't really recognize any of those acronyms, but I'm surprised that there's not more that I've heard that are really explicit that I've personally used and seen used a lot. For example, this one, GMTPB, which means, give me the pussy please, boss. Oh my. Also there's SDPP, which is send the dicks pics, please. Never would be able to figure this stuff out. And that's one I use very commonly and actually it has a very high success rate if you guys are looking for something to send out. There's this one that's a really big secret from parents, which is J-P-N-D-T-S, which is just push Nan down the stairs. This I wouldn't have any clue. And that one's really, really useful for me, and I know a lot of people I know, because I just can't stop pushing my fucking incompetent grandma down the stairs. I mean, that bitch just loves tumbling. J-P-N-D-T-S, just push Nan down the stairs. Get that on the news. That's important to report. I just pushed Nan down the stairs, and Mom doesn't know because she can't read my acronyms. It's top secret. But there's the most scandalous one of all, and I haven't even mentioned it to you guys yet. Are you ready for the most scandalous acronym of all time? H-H-Y-S-J-D-H-N-C-S. Hey, have you seen Jeff Dunham's new hit comedy series? 
point. Very adult. Point, Point, quite frankly. Here's a favor to all the parents at home. Write that down so you know when your kids are up to no good. I never would be able to figure this stuff out. It's because it's not a real actor in him. They didn't show the whole thing. Man, I never would have been able to figure this stuff out. Hey, where'd you get these anyway? These aren't, these, are these real acronyms? Hey, hey, what is this list anyway? Hey, please put your balls above your dick and take a picture and send it to me. Hey, that doesn't seem like a real acronym. That's oddly specific. Are these real? See, they don't show you the end of that conversation. I can never figure these out. Put balls above dick. What? Why would anyone want to see that? Guys, what is this? What are you showing here? How was your day? Get naked on camera. That's not a real conversation. I don't know any conversation that follows that line. What's the what's the hole in the story here, bub? Do you want me to mistrust my kids, or or, or is this just a hoax to make me to fear monger and and, and build viewership? Is that what's going on? List of fifty sexting codes included the number eight, which means oral sex. Whoa, eight means oral sex. I missed that. I've been sending eights out to everybody I know. That is very embarrassing. Wow, that is so embarrassing. I've been sending eights out to everybody I know my whole life. Am I hey, Ela, do you want to have eight? You want to do some eight later? L M I R L. Let's meet in real life, and many more. Many I can't. Many more, and many, many more, many, many, many more explicit acronyms from a chat room from over ten years ago on an AOL forum that has over ten visitors from 1993. Many, many more. Oh my. It's surprising. Whoa, look at that edgy editing. They put a video on the freaking phone, man. How'd they do that? I didn't know we had that technology to do that. They put this video like it was on the, in the text chat. What? When did we get that technology? Hang on a second. You could put video in the, in the, in the text chat? Is that special effects or did they really do that? Hang on. Who put this together? Did James Cameron make this segment? I think James Cameron made this segment. Oh wait, was it Michael Bay? It was one of those two. This is a this is a low budget news report. How do they afford such special effects like this? That's irresponsible spending to bring on Michael Bay to produce your teen go from texting to sexting piece at how extreme it has gotten. And I think Dr. Melinda Harper is a psychologist Ooh. specializing in teen issues who also teaches at Queen's University of Charlotte. She's heard from parents worried about sexting, but was surprised by some of the explicit acronyms on this list. Very adult. Very adult. This list that you've just shown me from the 1995 AOL chat room is a very adult, very pornographic. What do you want me to say again? It's very, oh yeah, it's very adult. This is very adult. It borders slightly on, um, in my opinion, uh, soft pornography. Does it? You guys know what soft corn pornography is. You got to see titties, dude. And sometimes, sometimes, in a very special occasion, soft corn pornography, you get to see a dick. Now we're talking about letters on a phone. You want to tell me about soft corn pornography? I mean, it doesn't even go in. Harper says parents can't afford to be naive. Think about it this way. You don't give a 16-year-old free reign over a car and say unlimited miles, unlimited gas, off you go. Mm -hmm. You inform them, you know, no drinking and driving, please don't have individuals I don't know in the car with yes. you. The same can happen with the use of the phone or the computer. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, parents. You gotta, you gotta not give your kids faults. You need to block them up, okay? You need to get them all back on the beeper. Skeptical, and if need be, a sleuth. Laying the child note, hey, randomly, um, unexpectedly, I'm going to ask for your phone. So get ready for that. This is terrible. <laughs> Spy on your children, guys. Randomly raid their room to show them that you don't trust them, okay? Let them look through their private messages because they're obviously doing explicit stuff. Oh. Oh, man. i got to get my kids' phones. That's not weird or, or possessive. Oh, I gotta get my kids' phones and see what they've been texting. They probably, it doesn't matter if I'm invading their privacy. I just need to see if they talk about dirty, naughty, sexy stuff because, ki because teenagers aren't supposed to talk about that. Hey, what's your age? Nine? Here's a gun. Oh, let me get, let's go to the shooting range with my nine-year-old and let's shoot auto, uh, fully automatic rifles. 
Oops, I shot the instructor in the face. My nine-year-old girl shot the instructor in the face. Oops, that happened, guys. Meanwhile, take a look at their phone and make sure they're not sexting, because that's really what's important. Oh. While sexting is a tough subject for many parents, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to open dialogue. Open your eyes up wider. With your child. Learning. That Every time she has sex, her eyes get less wide. She looks more normal. If she has sex, like, within a year, she looks normal like this. If she has sex last week, she's, like, fucking chill as fuck, dude. But over a year, that bitch's eyes get all fucking wide. She starts talking about, it's very adult. It's very adult. Oops. Just sexed ya. This text just turned into a sext. Don't let your parents see this. See you later next time, guys. Remember. Represented, represented for the ladies that is, aka Mr. International. Yo. All of my ladies, report to the dance floor now. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom, boom. Give me the gallon with it. Boom, boom. Give me a belly like. Boom, boom, boom. Let me throw it like. Pause.